Hello everybody, this is Abraham at Nashark Computer Services. And what we got here is a 2010 maybe MacBook, uh, iMac, and 2024. Well, it was bought in 24. So, brand new one and brand old one. We need to transfer the data. There are several ways that this can be done. One way that I would prefer is to take the computer apart, pull the hard drive out, and transfer the data using a hard drive uh, adapter. But I want to do it differently. In fact, I already done it. You can see the data is transferred. And uh, I want to show how you do it without having to take anything apart. The computer works. This computer works uh, okay. Uh, if the computer works, then uh, we have some issues. And the issues are, let me go to the back of the computer. On a new iMac, we have the two USB-C ports. On the old iMac, we have USB ports. We have the FireWire 1394 ports two different kinds. We have the um, network and video. These two irrelevant. The USB irrelevant also. These are the only ports we can use. Uh, so what do we do? There is no 1394 FireWire on this computer. There is no USB-C on that computer which is uh, the, not USB-C, but the Thunderbolt ports in USB-C format. Well, there is a doohickey out there, like this. It's made by Apple. It has a USB-C Thunderbolt on one side, and it has a Thunderbolt Thunderbolt on the other side, which allows you to use this cable and if this computer was newer let me go to a newer computer like this one here you can see it's got the thunderbolt connections and usb connections uh, so that adapter i have um, this adapter will con connect directly between the newer computer with a USB-C Thunderbolt and an older computer with a regular Thunderbolt. You just use a Thunderbolt cable connected to the newer Mac and connect it to the newest Mac. However, that's not the situation here. So what do we do? Well, there is another doohickey out there. It's also made by Apple, which converts a Thunderbolt connection to a FireWire connection. And I have the FireWire cable. Here's the thing that I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure if you can plug in one into another. The question is, can you convert convert can you do this essentially converting a thunderbolt usb-c the newest connection to a firewire the oldest connection and the answer is give me a like subscribe enjoy Leave it in a comment if you want to pause the video, if this will work. I guess you figured it out that it will, because I got the data transferred. It actually does work. You can convert, 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 and connect the two computers. Let me show you how it's done. We simply connect 
the Firewire to the Firewire Thunderbolt converter. We connect our Firewire to the Firewire port. I love USB-C. You don't have to jiggle around to find which way it's supposed to go. All right, and we connect the USB-C to USB-C. So we got a train of cables just like that. All right, let's go to the front. Uh, when you turn on the computer, you got to put it in the target disk mode. So we hold down T and we turn on the computer. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay. So T power. And by the way, as much as I would like to say bad things about Apple on things that they do, this is one of the things that they did right. I don't know if it still exists in new computers. I should check that. But it did exist all the way up to recently that you can put the computer in a, an external hard drive mode. Excellent, excellent thing for transferring data. And we have, let me just... <coughs> We have a hard drive. There is no password on that computer. And as you can see, I can access and transfer data from the old computer to the new computer. A word of caution, the transfer is slow. Very, very, very slow. Um, if you're in a hurry, I suggest taking the computer apart pulling the drive out using a USB 3 uh, drive adapter, suck the data in. You'll have, it'll go a lot faster. Um, I was quite disappointed with the speed, which could be because of a bunch of conversions, because this is a 800 port and not, you know, 10 gigabit or 6 gigabit or even 3 gigabit. Uh, all that played into the situation where uh, I had time, so uh, it wasn't an issue, but it was very slow. It took a couple hours to transfer. Not that much of information. So if you have lots and lots of information, you know, hundreds of gigabytes, this was tens of gigabytes, um, I would pull the drive out, I'd pull the computer apart. Um, <clears throat> This one's not that hard to take apart. Just have to pull out a bunch of screws. I mean, you know what I'm getting at. Just a little too much work. This way it's faster and didn't have that much data and I had time. So it was doable. Hopefully this helps somebody. And if you liked my video, give me a like, enjoy, subscribe, and save money. By the way, using this... You do exactly the same thing. You're just going to get a different um, picture on there, and it'll come up as an external drive. Oh, yeah, sometimes you have to put in the password. So if the drive is encrypted, you have to know the password before you can do this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.